this down to the quick speed shop. I'm putting headlights on the double A doodle bug. All right, so here we go. I've got some uh, vintage lights here. Um, not sure what they're off of. Probably an aftermarket light, but they're old. I got them at a swap meet somewhere. So what I want to do is, originally, this truck would have had a little frame rail that stuck out and ended here. And on the fenders, there was a brace that bolted on right here. And it went out to here, and there was a headlight bar that came across. And stock model A headlights are way up here like this. Um, with the fenders and all that, but I'm going to put these down here like a hot rod. And I got two of them. They're going to be down here about like this, and I got an old hot rod trick is how we're going to do it. We're going to use a stock bar, and we're going to modify it like they used to do back in the 1940s and 50s. Here is a stock headlight bar, and I got one light mounted on it. So originally, like I said, these headlights are mounted up about like this on the fender, uh, the fender braces, and they're way up in the air like this on the grill. So I'm going to drop this bar down to about here. And what I'm doing is that old hot rod trick where you take the bar and you, uh, you cut the leg off of here. Now this bar is in mint shape. There's no pitting or no that, nothing like that. And I went and I got the rusty one off my parts truck out back. And I've already liberated one side of it in the vise over there. So what you do is you take this and you mount it on the frame rail somewhere. Um, probably about like that and then the headlight bar gets welded onto the feet which you cut off so you just use the stock forward bar and the headlight bar gets mounted down low like this and the headlights are lower like a hot rod would be so that's what I'm doing I'm cutting the end off the other bar well, let's go check it out Bam! Now I liberated the end of the bar. So on the uh, on the frame rail, the uh, feet will sit like this, and the headlight bar will weld on something like this here. And uh, I did this on my Model A uh, hot rod coupe. That's how I got the light bar mounted on that. So now I got this cut down. This is a rusty bar, so I'm not worried about cutting it up. We'll go back to the front and we'll check this out. All right, so I got my two feet. Go ahead and get a clamposis on here somehow. Something like a that. There we go, we got two bars here, so um, the headlight bar will go ahead and it'll it'll weld on something like that. So uh, got mix max mix match action going on here. Got one light on one bar and one light. Oh, don't drop it. So something like that. Bam! Look at that instant hot rod. I think this will look pretty slick. I'll. I'll I'll play around with this and get where I want this to go. I'll get some nuts on here and bolt these lights down Oop, so we don't lose them. And I'll clean up this bar with a grinder and I'll just tack it on here and uh, weld it and drill. I'll drill some holes for the feet in this, but you get the idea here. This is going to be cool. It looks like a cool hot rod. The lights are dropped down. You got the still got the bar working here. This is an old uh, an old trick they used to do back in the day when they build you know fenderless cars. The easiest thing to do is just take the stock headlight bar and modify it and make a new lower spot, so this is going to be awesome. Let me go ahead and get these uh, straightened out here, drilled, I'll drill and bolt them down some carriage bolts, and then uh, we'll tack it together and see how it looks with both lights on it. All right, I've taken the headlights apart, and uh, I found something cool. These are original old lights. They're, uh, I'm sure they're six volts, but right here, can't lose a screw. Right here, look at this, can you see it? Or is it right there, there's a date. April 23rd, 1948. So these things are original. Some kind of aftermarket light you would have bought and put on something. And they're both uh, 1948 date lamps. So these are original lamps. It's six volt, I'm sure, that are uh, in here. I thought that was pretty cool. I've drilled the frame rails. I've bolted the arms back on. And 
I've cleaned up the headlight bar, ground all the rust off it. Here's the headlight buckets here mounted in here. And so what we're going to do is just simply take the headlight bar, set it back on the uh, feet, and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to tack one side and move the other side and then measure it to the grill shell in here make sure it's all square. And uh, go ahead and weld it on here and uh, make this headlight bar back into one piece and we'll have cool ass headlights on the doodle bug. Alright, bam, check it out! This is an old school hot rod trick. Use nothing but the stock Model A headlight bar. This is what it, people would have done back in the day. They just would have chopped it off, lowered it, bolted it back down to the frame, and there you go. You got everything mounted up. It looks good. It flows real nice. It sets the headlights at a perfect uh, look on the grill. And uh, I think it's awesome. My Model A coupe is the same way as this, and I, I love the proportions of it. So I'm just going to paint the headlight bar and the headlights uh, satin black to match the chassis. Um, on the AA trucks, the headlights were black from the factory, so I'm going to follow that. But uh, I think it came out awesome. So that's about it. I'll get paint, paint on it, and we're one more step closer to being done. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a circle. How about on the far headlight over there, the driver's side headlight? Make hit that to subscribe. Putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So uh, tell your friends, hit the bell for your alerts. Come on back for more old school hot rod action and tips and tricks like this. Always something going on like that right here at the Quick Speed Shop.